What's up, my derps? It's your boy, Gregolis. Hey, that's me. And I swear, I was just getting hypnotized by that uh, that video there. I was really watching it. And uh, I don't know how it doesn't make you guys sick, but uh, that's not a great way to start a Friday night. We're going to do a quick one this evening. Shout out to all the people. Oh, Mr. Woodwrights. <laughs> uh, Mr. Keating, excuse me, in the chat. Hey, that's you. <laughs> We are uh, going to have a, a quick, fun evening tonight. I decided that we need more battle music. A uh, quick note before I get going. We just updated the YouTube.com slash the Derpwood with uh, enough songs to put us out into June. So those are all going up there, which a lot of them we we built together on this show. Um, I'm also going to keep updating and adding the show up there, which is really exciting. Um, what else do we got going on? There is... Oh, Stegosaurus Rex, what up, Battle Music? <laughs> they will, uh, speaking of Stegosaurus Rex, I will be hanging out with them again tonight for another Ghost of Salt Marsh, uh, bringing back the Grills B Schmicklebits. And uh, I'm going to have to remember his voice because uh, I, I actually came in with the wrong voice and had to run with it last session. That's okay. There was a lot of drinking involved. Uh, tonight we're doing... Right now, I'm doing a caffeinated beverage, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into it. We'll have some fun. I did find this really cool battle song uh, uh, or, or battle loop earlier today that kind of said it inspired me to continue this. Um, and let me just find it here. I think you guys can hear that, right? All right, let's add that in. Let's start it up. This feels beautifully battle-y. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're going to add to it, but let me start scrubbing through and see what else we can add to this to make it very battle-y. I mean, I'm already into that. Let's go back to start. That's beautiful. Now, this needs some EQing though. So let's, well, let's scrub it across. I am a little bit out of it today. So let's, uh, let's hope we do okay. We've been, uh, everybody's been kind of sick in the house. Uh, not COVID, but my son was out earlier and now I'm, uh, I'm kind of feeling it and the rest of us are kind of feeling it. Okay, so let's figure out where that roll comes in. It's right here. I don't want it to overtake. I also think we're gonna drop a lot of this lows out. I don't know why I soloed that out. Like, it sounds muddy. Cause there's a. There's a reverb on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to gate it. Why is that doing so much? Okay. So that little roll off down there, I want to get rid of that. Why are you not working like you should? It has a delay on it on the original, um, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get rid of that. Okay, that's not bad. In the mix. Oh, what up, buddy? Nice. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, he's liking it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for popping in. Sorry, I was a little slow on the chat there. I got, I get consumed sometimes with what I'm doing. 
Okay, now we hear that bang. I still don't like the, the rumble here. So now what I've done is I've lost the bass I'm gonna add. Oh my god. <laughs> what up, Wawa Tessie laughing in the background? The marquees of a true artist. It's fair, that's fair. It's, it's mostly just I don't know what I'm doing, so. So now I boosted the bass back in. <laughs> thanks, thanks for letting me know you're here. Uh, let's see what else we got. That sounds similar. I like half of that sample, so we're gonna we're gonna cut that down. So it starts off. I think we just go hard right off the bat. Totally. How's the sound out there, by the way? Am I too loud? Is the DAW too loud? Oh my god, the DAW is very loud. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got steak laughing as well. Now we need like some crazy horns or something like... Something like that. But because I'm lazy, I'll just find a sample that works. Might be something in that I could cut out. I like the long notes of this, but I don't like the little staccato or pizzicato or whatever shadow it is in here. So I'm going to cut those out. Uh, yeah, I could just do this like this, like this. I'm hearing music somewhere else. Anybody else hearing that? Oh, I know why. It's gone. You probably didn't hear it. It's very low. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, Ola Penguin. Ola Penguin says the music's a little low. Let me try and turn that up for you a bit. Just trying to make sure you can hear me talking over it. So you let me know. And hello. Uh, just letting you know while we test these here. Bardic Dice says maybe like a high-end angel or chorus of voices. Oh, I like that idea. Da -da. I think I want to make these wider while they're in here. Uh, so what I use is this stereo. That just makes it louder. So I gotta turn that down. But you can hear them wider. It pans them out a little bit more. <laughs> Closers. Okay, let's see what we can find for some kind of like choir effect. Just scrubbing through trying to find something. Oh, I, ooh. Come on! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes, Wawatessi is here. I bet you I could 
I could pitch it up like fifth harmony here. Let's see what we can get. Uh, I'm just going to loop this section, turn this down. No, it's fifth. Now what I might do to the to the high one here is I'm gonna add uh, my one of my favorite plugins called Lo-Fi by Waves. It's a great little product product. I believe it was free Black Friday. Um, they have a have, they have a full version called Retrofy. Uh, kind of does the same thing. Uh, has way more presets, but this was free and I enjoy it. And what it does is we'll add a bunch of reverb and different styles of like lo-fi texture. It makes this gritty and kind of different. So we could turn this on and off. Okay, hold on. That's that's off. This particular one's giving it a nice little echo. Kind of feels like uh, like vinyl texture. I think I like plate, and then you turn down the mix so it's not so heavy. Okay, hold on. That's feeling very loud in my ears. Okay, before we get too far, let's name it and save it. What are we thinking? When you hear this song, where are we battling? Before I, you know, I'll just keep playing it while we figure that out. Where are we battling right now when you hear this? Honestly, it just feels like a like a plain battlefield to me. Uh, I don't know, just like battlefield, battlefield warfare battle. If you're searching on YouTube, what do you search? Oh my God, you're real specific. The fields of Elysium. How about? Huh. See, because I always name mine like whatever you would search. If you go into a search as a DM and you're like, I need. D and D battle music. I try to name it like that so it keeps it scenario easy to find um, and less specific. Uh, uh, Fields of Elysium is good though. How do we? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting laughed at again. She's here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Paladin battle music. Oh my god. That's it. Save life said as. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Michael. You got vetoed. Paladin battle. Uh, da, da, da. Paladin battle saving. Whew. Smite music. <laughs> Careful. Smitey will show up. <laughs> you rang smite okay da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, so it needs is it definitely needs like crashes. I think we were using some really cool ones before, so let's get those in there. Uh, let me see what I got. Is it these ones? No, I know where they are. 
Do, 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 do. Let me find them. Swells, symbols. These are hand symbols. Yeah, well, that's not going to work. Uh, clash symbols. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, let's bring that down already. I know it's going to be loud. Okay, so I want that on the second. And then we'll just double it up. I got to zoom in here. Cut off the tail ends. This one actually looks like it needs to be cleaned up a bit. So we'll turn off the guides here, the snaps, put them back on. Bring this out so I can just copy and paste. That one's slightly off, but that makes it feel human. Dun, dun. It needs a... Maybe this one? I'll find some better sounding ones. Sizzle symbol. Ooh, that's interesting. Let me add this on its own little layer here. We'll come back to you, Mr. Sizzle. Uh, suspended symbol. Huh. No. I have way too many sounds on this computer. Could there be such a thing? Uh, let's see what we got here. Drums, bass, other. You know what? I just need to type in symbols. Pardon me for the delay here, folks. Sometimes just this is just how it goes. I think I want that one, and maybe that one. Put that here real quick. Boy, he's got long tails on them. Holy smokes. Uh, okay, so we got to get in here, and we got to go one, eight, and then we got to find the, whoops, find the time timing of that. So we go. Okay, so, uh. Uh, I think it's there. Jesus. Let's uh, zoom in and cut that early thing off of these ones. Turning that off. I see you guys are writing stuff, but I am not looking. I'm not looking. Okay, I don't think I want... That's not the right sound. Okay, this needs to come back. Can we go back to 1-4? Or it should be 1-8. So that's why. Dunt. Dunt. Nope, it should be here. Sounds like it's off. What the fudge? Like, why is it delayed? Okay, right idea, wrong sound. What do we got you guys saying here? Uh, I never thought to make Battle Mute Loop with stuff from Looper Man. Amazing. Hell yes, that's all I ever do. I just jack it all from there. Have you been able to upload your music to Spotify by any chance? I have not, and I was supposed to do it this week to get it working on the website. I have not done that. Please don't judge me. It's on my to-do list, uh, but I will get them up there uh, eventually. I kind of like that soft one there. What if we put that one there? Turn this off again.
Yeah, I definitely... Oh, I cut out my sizzle. Well, it's okay. It doesn't matter. She's still there. Go away. Um, yeah, I love Looper Man, actually. Uh, I do some mini work and stuff as well, but um, for whatever reason, whenever I'm streaming, my MIDI is hit and miss for being on time, and it drives me crazy, so I don't even tr bother anymore. Oh, this could be good, too. Let me get this back in time. Way back in time. These are very soft symbols. We might come back to those. Uh, what else we got here? Symbols, clash symbols. I just want symbol. Will that bring up more? Yes. Let me try this one. I apologize. I know this is super boring for most people. It's not that boring for me, but I get it. I think we're just going to double this one up. Okay, I think we got it. Do we double this back? Turn this one down. Let's see what we got. I think the problem with these are. Uh, this is just too loud in comparison, so let's try to even them out a bit. Duplicate. Yeah, so that's loud, but I liked it. Now what do I do with my sweet, sweet sizzle? Come here, baby. Joe Byron. Let's get the sizzle up. Oh, I, let me see here. Have you been able to, uh, no, nope, uh, no judging, bro, you're good. Uh, when you do, I'm calling dibs and adding it in my playlist. I can shout you out when people tell me the music is slapping. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you, Michael. Are we best friends? Or smitten, smitten, smitten? <laughs> uh, Hollow Penguins, Ola Penguin says, are you on Mac or PC? You can use the alt op to move a clip around an arrangement view and skip snapping. Come on, actually? You gotta be shitting me. Well, that is awesome. I'm on PC, so it's an alt for me. Uh, but that is super helpful. Thank you. And Bardic Dice says, this is mad cool, not boring. I always wanted to learn this stuff. I just did basic recording and stuff, but never the producing side of things. I enjoy this myself, so thank you. I do appreciate that. And that way you don't have to toggle on and off. Hola Penguin, Hola Penguin, Hola Penguin is jalapeno spicy. It's my new favorite thing. This is too loud. Okay, we are not done with the symbols and the crashing because this is just going to keep growing exponentially. Also, I'm missing one here. Okay, here we go. I think we could like off time one. I'm going to bring it in to reinforce. I think that's the one we were already using, but I like it. 
Uh, yeah, it was definitely that same one right there. Let's bring this up here. You know what? Yeah, we could just drop it in. No, let's do both. Mm-hmm. Right there, I believe. That sounded off, right? Okay. I am hearing it and I don't like it. What I might do, I could do this a couple ways. I'm just going to. what it is the same okay that's what I thought so let's bring a different sound in here holy smokes that's so low turn it up uh, clean it up a bit I want it to be a little bit off That sounds good. Okay, let that sizzle out. like a cool bass or something i guess i'm gonna have to play midi uh okay first of all playing midi i like to cheat and i use a website called audiokeychain.com and i use the song key finder and it tells me the key i upload it it tells me the key this is in e minor i believe Doing some Googling, EGB, EGBD, EGB. Okay, so since this never wants to work, we're going to do it like this. We're going to draw it in here. We're going to go E, oh God, G, B. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, now get out of draw mode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bet you it's that long. Slide them over. Oh, maybe it's. Is this looping with the fudge? Sorry. So aggressive. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. You know what helps if you put an instrument on it? Dun, 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 dun. What do I want to put on? I'm going to try, just for now, I'm just going to put on like a piano or something so I can hear it. Make sure it's right. This is why I don't like doing MIDI with while I'm on stream. Okay, so we are way too fast here. Even that's going to be too fast, I bet. But we'll stretch them. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go full fours here. Full fours. That's right. Here we go. Okay, so I want to go to maybe down to A, or we could go. Mm -hmm. 
done my work. Nope. Uh, G. I don't think F is in E minor. Maybe I could Google it. Uh, we could drop down to. I'm trying to see. Is that going to be too late? Oh, I see. I want E there, and I want to start with. And back to C. Oh, I'm digging it. How you guys feeling that? Then we'll just change the instrument after, but. What do we got? I think your Battle March clip is an A minor, assuming the uploader was correct and you didn't transpose it. I did not transpose it, and the uploader said E minor, and this seems to be working. So I don't know. I know enough to know I don't know enough. I actually kind of want to not go to G here, not so high. What can I do? I don't know if D... That fits, right? Or am I like totally tone deaf? I think it works. I'm going to add in this really cool plugin that I like to use. It's called Spitfire Audio Labs. It's a free plugin. For show, I was just going off the file name that you have in the green clip. You're doing great. Does it say it in the clip? Oh, yeah, it does say it. <laughs> well, it's working. Ah! Okay, let's add in. Oh, uh, once again, this is Spitfire Audio's Labs. Tons of free stuff. I'm going to do the ensemble here. Uh, let's loop this. Crank it. Beautiful strings. I'm going to dupe it. Because I did say I wanted to do, um, a bass. And I wonder if there's like a cello in there. I wonder, I can't remember if I've got like a nice cello in here. Uh, da, 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 something low. There's a choir. I could do a bass guitar. Cello. Oh, but these are weird cellos. I don't know. They're like scary cellos. Yeah, it's not going to work. Do a harp. No, it doesn't like it. Whoops. That's not working. Uh, oh, what's the monochord sound like? No, I don't want to pluck. Oh God, that's loud. This might actually work. I want the release to be longer on it. The only problem I'm seeing right now is that it just feels like it's constantly building and I don't have a breakdown or anything like that. Is that this? I don't know if I like this.
I think we're gonna slide everything over. Oh god, flashbacks to before the Detch got on the call the other day. I don't get it. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, that's going to be the breakdown, and then we roll back to the front. We start copying these across. Uh, uh, uh. Interesting. That's not going to work. Mm hmm. Uh, Ola and I were trying to guess the key of something Realm Warden and I sang that our friend joined said in just a few seconds what the key was after an hour or so of floundering. Oh, been there. Love that. This is why I work with samples where the key tempo will give it to me. Yeah, uh, check out that website that I was telling you about. Um, what's it called? Audiokeychain.com. I'm going to drop the link. It's uh, That'll help you. Just drop your sample in there and it'll double check it for you. So far, I don't think it's ever really been wrong. Okay, that one can come in here. Okay, so I want to get rid of this and this here. And I want to see if I can find some cool drums to add. Let's see what we got for drums. Uh... Drums, 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 drums. I'm in the wrong folder. Drums, 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 drums. Actually, I got this stuff here. I wonder if this will work. It's kind of cool. 
Uh, I want to bring it on its own freaking thing. Hold on. Okay, let's EQ that. Uh, grab the wrong thing. There we go. Open this up. Let's load it. I don't know why this sample did that. Whoever made it ruined it. I've got that wrong. There we go. That sounds good. I feel like this whole sample, the main sample, should be significantly louder. Whoops. Just occurred to me that this, this sample right here is the same sample that I just put back in. Oh, don't judge me. Okay. Well, it's going to be one of those nights. I did I did warn you I was a little off today. Ace and the Bees, howdy. Lurking but having fun. Thank you. Thank you, Ace and the Bees. Okay, more drums, I guess. Oh, thank you, Brack. Saving my work. Now let's keep this circulating so I can hear. Just searching for some drugs. That might work. Let's slice that in half. Whoops. Move that over. Doop. Hey, Crimson Rockstar, what's up, my dude? Shout out, Crimson Rockstar. I thought you were uh, streaming over on your end, my dude. Let's, uh, is it the Fireside Portal or just Fireside port Portal? I believe it's the. Keep the tunes coming. I'm playing Overwatch. All right, Brack, I'll probably see you a little bit later. Nailed it, yes, the fireside portal. More drums. Can't even hear 
that one. Oh, kind of like that. Let's add that in there. This is minus two, so we're not gonna, I'm gonna bring it in on its own layer. kind of feeling like the way this starts now is like too slow if I'm going to end it like that. Almost like it should start like this. I don't know, this, this, this snare drum is kind of throwing my whole swag off. I like this as an intro. Oh, nice. Crimson said they're just doing some Jackbox this evening, so attention isn't really needed the entire time. Thank you, my dude. Um, Olaf says, I kind of like how you have it for the first eight bars. Gives the ammo players time to roll initiative. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I do too. There's something about the way it's ending though, not liking it. It's supposed to loop though. Maybe it's, maybe that's where it ends. Maybe that's the issue. I could come back on the loop right there. Double up 33 to 49. Then double up 9 to... I have an idea. I think I can make this a little bit more, add some reverb to it. Oops, I'm in the wrong thing here. I think this might actually work. It, now, hear me out. We'll listen to it top to bottom. Because all, all of these, what I like to do is I make them loopable so that they can last for like, you know, sometimes your little, that little session, that part of your session lasts like 30 minutes. Sometimes it lasts forever. Uh, and so I try to keep them low key in the background, like not too melodic that it, that it becomes apparent that things are changing. It's kind of a weird balance between doing very musical things and having something that can last sort of quietly in the background that's not taking away too much from your talking or whatever um so i'm gonna play it from the beginning i think we found the loop i just want to add some risers and maybe some other effects and stuff in here
I think it sounds, I think it's not bad. Smite, that's the theme. Yeah, tonight we're doing, uh, this one's called Paladin Battle. We're doing battle music. Um, and we're just, we're just having some fun with it. I, I can hear where I want to add in some more heavier cymbals. Um, I want to add in, I want to add in the risers kind of there to hit the, the main marks and maybe some like impact noises. And then we're in pretty good shape. And then we'll just master it out. Um, and be done with it, I guess. Uh, why am I not finding all my symbols? Oh, there, that's why. I'm in the wrong thing. Here we go. That's a good one. Turn that way down. Uh, put that on the mix here. Nope, I'm on the wrong thing. Kind of like it right before. else we got open up well, that one's pretty good okay so let's hit this as kind of the impact I'm gonna bring it up so I can see where the things are hitting so we got impact right here Impact right here, impact right here, impact right there. I'm going to delay this one out. And if you've watched this before, we're going to rock my favorite delay. Can anybody tell me what my favorite delay is? Do, 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 do. Now you're just looking at it, cheaters. Echo. <laughs> yes, it is an echo. That's what a delay is. Delay, 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 delay. This is the, uh, this is the filter delay in Ableton. It's called the Moving 356. It is by far my favorite. It adds so much to the delay. Check this out. Bounces it around all over the place. I'm going to crank it, turn it way down though. You know, it's really funny. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it for this purpose. We're just going to do a regular 16 quarter note rather. Uh, Delay on this, turn those down. I'm going to group all of the um, symbols all together because there's a lot of banging going on. Whoa, you said it, not me. Cut out all the low crap you see down here. This will make it more splashy, but I don't know if I like it. Might add a light, a light reverb on here.
my drums here, I believe. This is drums too. Okay, so let's EQ the drums a bit. Okay, we're starting to get there, folks. I'm going to open up my uh, master train here. I have these already set up. This is the uh, George Wells Mixcentric. It's a one-knob mix tool. It will blow your mind. It's from Waves. I love it. Let's start. Make sure we're not too high here, too loud. Feel that coming out. Some of those cymbals are hitting so loud. I'm gonna have to limit them. This is the uh, F6 uh, Waves Equalizer. I think it's just called F6. It's beautiful. If you don't have it, you'll want it. Again, it's Waves. So we'll boost up the lows a bit here. Start cutting off the top. This will brighten it up again. Oh, God. We'll do that. It's kind of muddy. I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Abbey Road uh, TG Mastering Studio again from Waves. I usually just like to go to Mastering One, drop that on there, drop this low pass down to here, contain it a bit. I need to get into the middle to hear the high thing. That sounds not bad. It's pretty crispy. And then I add the L2 uh, maximizer. This will pump it up. Maximizes and limits. God, there's some major highs in there. What up, Jonasse Kwa? Another uh, amazingly talented musician in the chat right now. If you haven't already, go hit him up. Uh, shout out, Jonasse Kwa. What did I just hear? What just happened? I just got an alert. Oh, kind of moto day. Kind of, kind of mote today. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, and what did I miss here? Stegosaurus says, oh, this is the UI. I thought you were talking about your fave thing. My well, yeah, it's the plugins that I'm using. They are, they are. Some, oh, I got you. Never mind the echo. I took me a minute, but I got there. <laughs> Hello there, here from Scal Server. Oh, Scal Initiative, one of the coolest uh, groups as well. They do a ton of D and D. Let's give them a shout out. 
Scal Initiative. Check them out if you haven't already. We love to send our stuff over to them when they're on. Uh, great group of people, but the Discord is well, chef's kiss as well. So we're getting pretty close to wrapping this one up, I think. I'm screaming over the loudness. Okay, but I need you uh, to explain. Is it kinda mo today? Kind kin da mo today? Or je ne sais quoi? I need to find some risers. That actually might work low on the break here. Drop it way down. That was not bad. Let's see what else we got for risers. Mm. No, I think I'll, I'll bring this one in. Not even on the right. Yeah, I am. Drop this down about there. My computer is struggling at the moment. Holy smokes. Really doesn't like the Waves plugins when I have them all on. I think that's the issue. Gotta be honest about it. No, we're not using that one. Uh, yay, thanks. Hi, hi, I don't really have a Twitch, but thanks for the shout out. Yeah, I know you don't have Twitch, but you're the coolest dude ever. So uh, check out your Instagram, and it's all je ne, je ne sais quoi. And uh, Ola Penguin, do you do your one-stop shop mixing plugins also do compression? Yes, they do. So the, uh, the Abbey Road here does a bunch of compression. It's got input, limiter, tone, filter. I think the filter does some of the compression in there. Um, what else? What else? Oh, the mix centric. There's a compressor built into this one knobby thing. Uh, and and I'll show you the difference while it's playing. Well, that's with it on. That's with it off. That's with it on. So you can feel it get closer together, nice and tight. Subsequently, one of the uh, Ableton compressors, the glue compressor, I really like that one too. Um, and I'll often use that uh, for, on groups of stuff, but I don't know. Um, 
generally I like to just leave it to the little mixy, the cheating mixy thingy. Yeah, glue is great. I don't like that. I don't like that um, instrument. So what I might do, I'm going to attempt to get my computer to explode. So I'm going to add another Waves plugin called the Bass Fingers. It's one of the few instruments that I have from them. It takes a while to load. Also, I got to watch my time. It is eight o'clock because tonight we're going to go. And play on Stegosaurus Rex's uh, Twitch there. I should probably put that link in the chat. Let's hope I spell it right. Stegosaurus underscore Rex. I will be live with them at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is in about two hours. And I will be returning to uh, my gnome artificer wizard by the name of Grillsby Spigglebits. Okay, let's try this. Uh, hold on, what bass do I want? Just a simple, plain, fat one, I think. That doesn't sound good either. Uh, I'm going to loop that section right there. Let's solo it out. That might work. Cut out any of the top end on here. I think we're getting there, folks. I don't know about that bass. Okay, but I do need to put a pin in this one. This one has been called Paladin Battle. Very Thank you very much to Ola Penguin, who came up with the name and actually taught me a few things about Ableton tonight. That's really super cool. I will not forget the alt option uh, function to move things around without being stuck because this whole right-clicking and turning off, I just, that's a nightmare. Um, and it really made me hate Ableton coming from Cubase. That's just me talking nerdy stuff. Um, what else? We got Stegosaurus. I just said it before we left there. We have Stegosaurus tonight, Stegosaurus Rex. We're going to be playing Ghosts of Salt Marsh. You have to come check it out. Um, I do believe that they're taking donations and anything that you donate will be um, matched by Stegosaurus himself and the company he works for. So it's pretty cool. Um, and they're actually uh, building funds or raising funds for a marsh. So it's apt that they're doing Ghosts of Salt Marsh. It's kind of brilliant, actually. I'm going to export this out. Make sure that you guys don't get spammed in your ears um i will put this up right now into our discord if you haven't already joined our discord come and check it out we're a really fun community of people we're pretty active um things slowed down a little bit lately but we are are always up for new people there's a lot of art there a lot of D, &D talk a lot of table talk stuff 
Um, but it's not just D&D, it's video game chats, anything else, movies, whatever, spoilers, anything you want. Um, and Jurassic Qua is there being cool. And um, even though he's he's officially TikTok famous, I believe. Um, <laughs> so anyway, folks, thank you once again. If I didn't shout you out, I love you just the same. This has been a ton of fun. Let me know who we should send it over to tonight for the raid. Looks like, oh, Fireside Portal's up there. Let's send it over to them. It looks like they're having some fun. Uh, let's raid fire the Fireside Portal. This is also probably Inception for you guys right now, seeing my screen. The raid has been created. There we go. Thank you very much for all the people that joined me once again. All of these go up on Discord now, and then you can see them in a few months' time up on YouTube.com slash The Derpwood. If you are watching this on YouTube.com slash The Derpwood, please consider subscribing. We're trying to get our numbers up, and we appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you very much once again. Have a wonderful evening, all. And uh, we'll see you on Stegosaurus Rex in just about two hours. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>